Hey everybody, it's Felicia Stitzel with Vintage Fine Marketing and welcome to today's Wine Wednesday. So today is going to be a little bit more of a real conversation. On Tuesday, I just got back from a 3,700 mile trip where I went to some of the biggest wine states in the industry and that is California, Oregon, and Washington. And I spent 10 days interacting with wineries, doing tastings, talking with winemakers and winery owners. And I got the feeling of one really common message and that was that of all the wonderful things that they're doing, the one aspect of their business that seemed to always be suffering was marketing. Me being a marketer, that worries me because that means that in an a way I'm not doing my job well enough. I'm not reaching out well enough and emphasizing how important marketing really is. And what broke my heart a little bit was that so many of these wineries were still advertising in traditional medias, which was magazines and pamphlets and all of these things are great. But are you really wanting to spend your money for your marketing in a method that is seen to be archaic. And this is part of the reason why I wanted to do this video today was because I felt like as I was visiting around to all of these different and some of very, very major wine industry areas was they were missing out on major opportunities. Because when you are in a heavily inundated winery region, it is really hard to put your winery above everybody else's. What makes you special and how are people going to know that? They are going to find out how unique you are by visiting your tasting room. How do you drive traffic? By using the most up-to-date marketing methods, which is social media. During my entire 3,700 mile trip, I was doing constant advertising, displaying my location. I was using hashtags. I was checking in at locations. I was doing live videos. So I should have been an ideal person to target for social media because I was telling social media where I was and what I was doing, which would have made me a perfect person to an advertisement from one of these wineries show up in my newsfeed. Never happened. There was one location in Oregon that did, and the reason why they targeted me was because I had already liked their page and I was following their newsfeed, which is a pretty basic way to target an audience, but at least they were doing something. And they are the only ones of the 20 plus wineries that I visited and did tastings with of the almost 30 bottles of wine that I brought home and of the thousands of miles that I put down in wine country, some of the biggest wine country regions in the country, I should have been seen as an ideal person to target to get people to come to the tasting room. And it never once was seen. And so I wanted to remind all the wineries out there, especially during the height of tourist season and summer where people are going to be coming to you, don't miss out on an opportunity to target them and to advertise to people who are traveling to you. This is why wineries have the busy season, which is tourists in the summer season, and this is why they have slow seasons because they don't harness the momentum when it's happening, which will then elongate their busy season and will shorten their slow season. So if you have a question about this and you want to know more or even how to get started, send me an email, let me know. But I see an opportunity that's being missed here. And I see that a lot of wineries are not taking advantage the way that they could be because they think they're too small or they don't have the budget or they, do. I mean, there's a thousand excuses that a winery could use to not take advantage of these, but there shouldn't be because we have the technology, we have the knowledge and we have the resources. So use your resources. This is obviously, as you can see, something I am very passionate about. Not only did I build a business around it, but because I see a beautiful industry that I enjoy on a personal level and I see an integration. I actually read recently how wine and social media are actually the exact same as one another. It's a social event. It brings people together. So I want to help you start bringing more people together with your wine, 
through your social media. Thank you for joining me on this week's Wine Wednesday. Tune in next week for more tips and tricks of the trade.